Welcome everybody, we're gonna go fast, I hope you're ready. First, name your character. Go into the cave on the first screen and get the wooden sword from the old man. Now we will make a beeline toward the beach. We want to fight the blue octoroks that spawn there as they can drop bombs. Go back a few screens and blow up this wall revealing a secret cave. In this cave is a heart container, increasing Link's max life. Yay! Now from here we'll go directly up 4 or 5 screens and end to the right once. Here in this rock is where our second heart container lies. Grab that and now we have 5 hearts. Our next objective is collect rupees. We will need rupees to upgrade Link and purchase key items to route Hyrule. There are a lot of secret rooms where a moblin will give Link free rupees, first one being on the very next screen. A few screens over, behind this spooky tree is a secret staircase, revealing a secret hideout where another moblin is giving out 100 rupees. On our way back, go up that first staircase. At the top is a cave where an old man gives you a letter. We will explain the letter later, but then go up the very next staircase because we need an item there. At the top is a shop that has an item we need, the blue candle. Buy the blue candle. It's a necessary item for uncovering more secrets in the overworld as well as lighting dark rooms and dungeons. Now go down from that staircase, go left two screens, then just go up to the next staircase because we want to dodge this Lionel and get into this secret cave where we can get the white sword from the old man. Now you only get the white sword by having five hearts. With the white sword in tow we will go and get some more hidden rupees on our way to the first dungeon. Follow the river to the left and down to the screen with the five trees. Burn the bottom right tree and uncover another hidden rupee spot. Down two more screens and we'll get another hidden rupee spot. Now to the left one more screen and we're going to get our third heart container. Go left one more screen because we're going to uncover our first secret shop where we need to purchase the magic shield. Many shops have the magic shield throughout Hyrule, but this one has it for the cheapest price, 90 rupees. After that we can finally go to level 1, so cross the big bridge and enter your first dungeon. In this dungeon the first thing you want to do is leave immediately, because we will automatically unlock that top door just by leaving and going back in. Level 1 is very easy and straightforward, so I'm not going to go into the details of every single dungeon, to do not leave before getting the bow and the boomerang. The magic shield is especially helpful here because the first boss, Aquamentus, only shoots magic balls that you can now deflect with ease. Grab the piece of Triforce and we're going to get a few more rupees on our way to level 2. Burning this bush nearby and then bombing this wall near the starting area will get us another two secret rupee rooms. Level 2 is a bit of a ways away. You are looking for a staircase in the middle of the starting forest. Level 2 contains the upgrade for the boomerang and you will need to bring bombs because the boss, Dodongo, is only weak to bombs. After defeating him, get your heart container and complete level 2. Now we're going to get even more hidden rupees before going to level 3. We're going to do this this time by uncovering them under these Armos statues. There are two of these special Armos right by level 2. We're going to need 250 rupees before we cross over to Western Hyrule because we need to find a secret shop that sells the blue ring. The secret shop is on this screen under one of the Armo statues. So go and touch the middle statue on the top row and buy the blue ring which doubles Link's defense. With Link's improved defense and blue tunic, we're going to rush to level 3. We will get the raft item, which will unlock a lot of stuff in the overworld. I do want to make special note of a new enemy you'll find in Dungeon 3, the Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knights are tough. They do a lot of damage, and they can only hit from the side and the back. In rooms like this, where you have to crowd control many Dark Knights, make use of the bombs in combat, especially against level 3's boss, Manhandla. Now that we're done with level 3, we need to get to 100 rupees that are in the Lost Woods. Go to a few screens over and burn this top bush on the single column, which will get us 100 rupees. Now we want to buy our first potion. There's a potion shop just below the blue ring shop, but you can only buy potions if you present the old woman the letter from earlier. Always buy the red potion, the red potion can be used twice to fully heal Link. With our new raft we will go to the nearby dock and enter level 4. Going into level 4, the only key item you will get is the ladder, but you'll need the ladder to progress to the end of the dungeon. I want to make special mention that level 4 is the first dungeon with dark rooms and you'll need to use your blue candle to light them up. This is also the first dungeon where the enemy, Like Like, appears, which can steal your magic sealed if you let them touch you. The boss of level 4 is Gleok, the multi-headed dragon. Swipe at the heads until they are all gone, grab your heart container, and move on. Now we have both the raft and the ladder, we're going to rush to the eastern coast of Hyrule. One heart container rests in broad daylight, the other one you need the raft to find. Now that we have all 5 overworld heart containers, you should have 12 hearts and you can get the magical sword right away. I'm going to save the magical sword till after level 5 because it's right next to level 6 and that's just more convenient. But first, level 5. You can only access level 5 by finding this screen and going up 4 times until finally level 5 reveals itself. It has 2 items we're going to need to get, the whistle and our first of 2 bomb upgrades. You will need 100 rupees for that bomb upgrade, so make sure you enter this dungeon with the 100 rupees. To find these items you will need to bomb the walls. Dungeon 5 is the first dungeon that really asks the player to start bombing walls to find secrets. These mummies are kind of playing as a hint as one of them has a bomb in its grasp and you can keep going and going and going and bombing the walls down the stairs and go into this room where the keys are. Yeah, not bats, keys. We're going to uncover a secret wall to the right where we can get the bomb upgrade from the old man. 100 rupees well spent. Take out these dark nuts to also get the whistle. Now to the boss, who can only be hurt after playing the whistle. 
pick up your heart container and your Triforce piece and on to level 6, but first we need more rupees. We just spent 100 rupees on that hidden bomb upgrade, so over here in the forest, by level 2, we will uncover a secret hidden rupee room that will give us 100 rupees. We need to buy arrows for level 6. Cross the river with the ladder. Over here, we'll need to get a lot of things in a row. First off, the arrow shop, which is right down the stairs. 80 rupees is a little pricey, but now we have to have them. Nearby, the next screen, we'll pick up the optional hidden key item, the power bracelet, by touching the top right armos. We will use the power bracelet later, but there is also a secret shop nearby I recommend picking up another potion in. Level 6 is pretty difficult. The last thing we need to do is pick up that magical sword, which is in the graveyard. Go up to the top right graveyard screen. Right in the middle is a staircase where we can get the magical sword as long as you have 12 hearts, which we have 13 by now. Lionel should be much easier now with the strongest sword in the game. We enter level 6 and we need to get the magic wand, though it is not a necessary item, you can beat the game without it. But you do need to bring the bow and arrow for the boss. What makes level 6 difficult are the new whiz robe enemies. Potions are recommended. Goma is the boss of level 6. One well placed arrow to the eye and heart container get. Quickly we're going to get the one hidden rupee room on death mountain before coming back and using the fast travel. You access the fast travel by moving this giant boulder which you can only do with the power bracelet. Take the middle staircase. It'll teleport us back to the starting area of the game because I missed one rupee shop on this eastern side of Hyrule. Then go back to the blue ring shop and buy the bait. Before level 7 we need to find the last two hidden rupee caves in the very bottom left corner of the map. By bombing one of the walls south of the Lost Woods, you'll get one of them, and then burning one of the trees in the north of the Lost Woods, you'll get the last one. Before the Lost Woods, there's a lake without a ferry. Play your whistle and the lake will drain. Enter the dungeon. There's another bomb upgrade in level 7. We have 88 rupees going into the level 7, but I'm planning to get the last 12 we need in the dungeon. You also pick up the red candle to upgrade your blue candle here as well. I don't buy a potion here because this dungeon is pretty easy, consisting of mostly the boomerang guys from the first dungeon. The hardest thing about level 7 is reaching the boss. First you need to make sure you buy bait for the grumble grumble man here, and an old man will tell you about a secret in the tip of the nose. He was referring to the face shape of the map. Go to the top right most room and defeat all 5 wall masters, then push the center right block to reveal a hidden staircase. All that is waiting for you is an aquamantis. Dispatch him and leave. Now on our way to dungeon 8, we're actually going to pick up one more potion, as I just alluded to, but first we need to get some more rupees. With another potion in tow, we're going to find dungeon 8, sitting in plain view since the very beginning of the game. Burn the odd bush out and enter the staircase. Dungeon 8 is a lot more self-explanatory than dungeon 7. Make sure to leave with the magic book and the magic key, which will unlock any locked door. The boss room can only be accessed through a bombable wall, where four-headed Gleok awaits. We'll get our last heart container and head towards Spectacle Rock, in which resides the final dungeon of the game. Follow my path here and you will get there in no time. Take one last stroll through this lovely overworld that you've gotten to know like the back of your hand and go up this giant staircase and to the left, two rocks sit atop Death Mountain. Bomb the left one and enter. Now I've been playing kind of fast and loose with the dungeon, but for this one I'll go step by step. Okay, first room, go up and then left. Bomb up, then go down the stairs. You'll come into this room and go right through the locked door. Continue right again and then defeat the Patra and go down. Once you're in this room with all the slimes, bomb right. We can defeat another bee enemy, get the map, and bomb up. Bomb up again and push open the staircase. Go down the stairs and pick up our beloved red ring that will give us another defense upgrade. Going back through the staircase, now we're on phase two. We want to go back the way we came, first by going down, then down again, then left, up past the slimes, but this time we're going to take the locked door up to this old man who gives us a hint about going to the next room, and he means to bomb the left wall. Push the left block and go down another staircase. Now we're here and we're going to go left and left again. Defeat this patcher and go down the stairs. Bomb the up wall and to go up and in this room, push the middle block on the right to reveal another staircase where the silver arrows reside. You will need the silver arrows to defeat Ganon. Now we are on part 3 of the dungeon. We're going to go back the way we came, going back through the staircase, this time going up. Same for this room, we're going to go straight up and up again. Then we're going to bomb the left wall and go through another staircase. Going down the stairs will then take us to another room. Bomb the left wall. Go down the staircase after defeating the enemies and defeat the final Patra. Going up the final door and you'll meet Ganon. To hurt Ganon you need to just blindly stab your sword in the direction of the balls coming at you. Once you hit Ganon he will pause and on the fourth hit you will turn brown that's when you strike with the silver arrow. He will crumble into dust and you can pick up the Triforce of Power. Go up and ceremoniously run into the fire before saving Zelda. Watch the credits. The end!